hello youtube welcome back to my channel today is an eyebrow shaping tutorial how to shape slash groom your eyebrows now we need just three tools to do that to achieve that and that's a new razor blade make sure the razor blade is new please you don't share razor blade as well very important spoolie brush and then your hand mirror and before you start shaping your eyebrow make sure you have a good source of light it's very very important and you go in start by um just brushing the eyebrow properly to give it the right shape where you want it to how you want it to look yeah then um just take note of what i'm about to do i'm going to start in the the, the shaping of the brow in the opposite direction now what i mean is that i'm not going to follow the shape of the way the hair grows that you know under the arch that place is called under the arch i'm starting can you see what i'm doing i'm starting in reversal and take notes very very important this is a new razor blade so automatically you should know a new razor blade is super 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 sharp so please as a beginner just be very very careful be very careful like act as if you're scared of both your face and the razor blade you understand and while you're doing it you're checking it out while you're doing it you're checking it out because one thing is for sure is your face so when you get to whatever um um shape you want you would know and okay um this is it here uh, as a beginner too like me at least i've been doing it for a while so to some extent as a beginner you could hold your skin are you seeing you could hold the skin of the face so that it doesn't move too much you understand mm -hmm. when you're starting before when you now become a pro or when you get used to it then you can just do it this way so as a beginner you look for where at least you keep your mirror or you get a standing mirror or something so you understand and then you hold the skin as i earlier showed you but at least need to some extent i am kind of used to it and you have to be very very careful as i said earlier so that you don't injure yourself or you don't over cut the hair you know you just have to see if you're picking you know and while you're doing it you're still going over with your spoolie brush to be brushing it because that's what we give you the to show you how you're going about it yes very very important so i'm still um, trying to shape you would definitely just uh, know what you're doing and as you're even shaping your eyebrow gradually it's taking the shape you want as you can see you can see i'm gradually getting the shape that i want and then um there's something about our eyebrows as part from the width there's also length can you see can you see apart from the width there's also length and there's a huge difference between the width and the length you understand so now i'm just trying to reduce it if you're shaping your eyebrow and you notice you don't really have you haven't really grown much length then just leave it but if you have grown much length then you can reduce it sure you understand as you can see now as you're reducing you're reducing both up and down you understand what i mean by up and down i'm brushing down and reducing the high the long length uh, on, from under and i also do the same too up i'll now brush upwards and then just cut it off a little bit yes i believe this is coming in handy especially this period that people don't visit the salon so much so much so much like that this is something you can just do casually in the house but if you still want to go someone else to do it for you it's all good it's all good but sometimes uh, there are certain things that i just love to do by myself but it's okay if you still now can you see what i'm doing i'm now reducing the length from up I have reduced from down and when you're reducing don't chop off too much yeah because when you chop off too much it won't look nice again it will make your eyebrow look hollow hollow like it will look like you have holes holes in here just reduce in moderation and let me tell you something about shaping eyebrow personally i don't shape eyebrow to give my eyebrows a shape that does not belong to me or when i'm shaping someone else i give them no i work with what you already have and shaping eyebrow does not have to do with chopping off <laughs> your hair on the eyebrow no just small small like adjustments here and there just taking out excess that have grown around the eye uh, bruise that's all it's not like you're cutting your eyebrows or you're plucking out the whole of your eyebrows no 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 you're just giving it a little little shape you know like that 
can you see it's coming through already it's coming through it's coming through and you would even definitely know because obviously it's even going to give you a huge difference and one very important thing please if you're doing if you're shaping your eyebrow be careful so you know go and mistakenly um cause cut off trim your eyelashes so you have to be very very careful you have to pay attention to details you have to be very very careful that is why i don't blame some people that they really don't like doing themselves though but then just it's all good so can you see what i'm already getting can you see my arch is gradually coming out properly and it's just your choice if you want a soft arch if you want a but i still make it very clear that i work with whatever it is you have if you have a curve curvy eyebrow that is what i work with if you have a soft arch that is what i work with if you have a sharp arch that is what i work with if you have a straight uh, eyebrow shape that is what you should work with as well you understand don't work on something that you do not have she you understand work with what you have so that is it as you can see just picking out some of the heads and you know how very important thing is the fact that there are times that you're just picking strand by strand you understand you're picking strand by strand and as i said keep going in with your spoolie brush keep going in with your spoolie brush is very very important keep checking it out keep checking it out to give you whatever it is you want as i said earlier is your face so you would know when it's okay you would know when you want what you're doing and as i said earlier as well be very very careful yeah, is a sharp razor blade oh. <laughs> and you know what it means when your razor blade is sharp you have to be very careful so you don't enjoy yourself and personally after i finish shaping my eyebrow i like to use a um, um, cutting board i dip it into a um, mentholated spirit and then I just wipe out the place. You understand? Just in case you have a sensitive skin. But even if you don't have a sensitive skin, you could still do that. You know, it's a way of just disinfecting. Sure, you understand. Yeah, so that's just it. Now I'm just checking it out to make sure I get whatever it is I want. Just like, usually when I'm even shaping someone else's eyebrows, not mine, I, I, I give them mirror to actually check it out and see if there are places that need adjustment. That's why I said your face, so you tend to see it even better than the person doing it. So can you see a huge difference now between this and the other one? <laughs> can you see a huge difference? Now, even when you want to draw your eyebrow with your eyebrow pencil, you just follow the shape. You see the huge difference. And definitely whatever you do on this other side, you do is repeat also on the other side. And one very important in our eyebrows are not twins. They are just sisters. <laughs> so it's understandable where when you notice one eyebrow hair is fuller than the other or one eyebrow hair is longer than the other, it's just normal. It's just normal. Just try and work towards making it look alike. Do you understand? Not making it identical. At least it should look alike. Yes, please, if you're here for the first time and you love the content I'm producing here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, share my videos if you can. Um, hit the notification bell to all so that each time I upload a new video, you will be the first to find out. Thank you so much, new subscribers. Welcome, 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 returning subscribers. You know now, I always love you guys. Even, you know, I love all of you, to be honest with you. Thank you so much for all the support as well. So I'm just still just doing some finishing touches. Just be careful, though. Just be careful. You know, there's this general saying, too much of everything is bad. <laughs> but then just be careful. Just just have to be careful. You would know when, at least, when you when you begin to get comfortable shaping your eyebrow, grooming your eyebrow by yourself, you would understand what I mean. And when you groom your eyebrow properly, it grows in that way. Yes, it grows in that direction. So concurrently, um, shaping your eyebrow will not really be an issue. You understand? It won't be so much difficult, difficult like that, you know? Like now, for me, it's not so much difficult. I, it's, the shape is already there. I just keep tracing, 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 like that, like that. So now, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's Strong Case, the jam maker.